welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and hit the like button. Today we're going to make this adorable cow craft. Um, we're going to do some cutting, we're going to do some paper tearing, which is a pre-cutting skill. We're going to do some gluing, so come on in. So today I'm going to have my daughter Abigail help us out. She's going to pretend to be the, the child that's working on her fine motor skills. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear this piece of black paper into small pieces. When you help your child learn how to tear, you're going to have them try to use their pincher fingers. If they're kind of doing this kind of a thing, you can kind of help them curl their fingers in and just gently hold and, and position their fingers on the paper. We're going to do the same thing with the other hand. And you want to tell them to put their, have them put their thumbs right next to each other. And then they're going to pull one hand towards them and the other hand away. And that will help them do that tearing action. Um, if they're brand new to cutting, what you can do is you can start a few tears like this. And then, and you can demonstrate. Honey, you have to put your thumbs right next. Use your pincher fingers and then you're going to pull. Now you try. And that just makes it a lot easier to get those pieces off. Try the next one. Good job. A couple more. And then as they finish those, you can give them a few more. Some kids will do the whole piece of paper. Um, other times it'll be frustrating and maybe they'll only do three or four tears and you'll kind of help them with the rest. All right, we're ready for the glue stick. Um, make sure that the glue stick cap isn't glued on as because sometimes after they've been used they get glued on but if it's not glued on go ahead and have your child try to open it because that's really good for hand strength and, and using two hands together in a coordinated way um, and she's going to go ahead and put glue on each piece and she can stick it anywhere on the plate she wants to now see how she's not using her helper hand to hold that little piece of paper you want to make sure that they're using both hands as much as they can Okay, so now that Abigail has finished gluing those on, um, we started with a half of a sheet of construction paper. What I'm going to do with this leftover paper, and you can decide if you wanted to, you could draw this on with white crayon so your child can cut it out, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it out um, for Abigail because um, a lot of preschoolers are not going to have the patience um, to finish this whole craft um, themselves because we're still going to do some cutting with the circle. These are the ears. So Abigail, go ahead and put some glue on the very ends of each ear. Sometimes I put my hand like this so that the child only glues the part I want them to glue because otherwise they'll get glue everywhere. And we're going to flip the plate over and they can stick the ears on wherever they want so that they stick off the plate though. And it's okay if our cow doesn't look perfect when it's finished. We just want them to do as much as they can on their own and to have fun doing it. So we'll turn it back over. The next step is, uh, Abigail, go ahead and put the cap back on your glue stick. We're gonna cut out this circle. Some of your children are still working on just snipping. Some of your children are still working on just cutting a straight line or a curve. Um, it's not uncommon for kids to have trouble cutting out circles until they're closer to kindergarten. So depending on the stage of development your child's in, you may just give them the whole circle you may cut around almost all but a couple snips, or you might cut just half and let them do half. It just really depends on where they're at in development. Um, if they're new to cutting out shapes, sometimes kids have a, a hard time figuring out how to get started on a circle because there's no obvious way to get into the paper to start cutting around. So sometimes I'll go ahead and draw a line like this and tell them to start on the line, and that just gets them started going. Um, the other thing to know is that you want the scissor hand to stay with the elbow next to the body and just kind of open and close and it's the helper hand that needs to be turning the paper as the child cuts um, and that's a hard skill to learn for most children you're going to need to have them actually pull away from the table so that they can get their elbow down by their side because usually the table is too tall and then they're kind of already up in this position um, which isn't the best developmentally. So I'm going to come behind Abigail because it's actually easier to help cutters learn to cut if we're behind them. Abigail's actually left-handed, so I drew my line the wrong direction because a left-handed cutter is going to need to go um, 
in a clockwise direction and a right-handed cutter will need to go in a counterclockwise direction. And the reason for that is, I'm a right-handed cutter, um, if I go clockwise, counterclockwise as a right-handed cutter, I can see my line really easily all the way around. If I go this way, I'm kind of looking over the scissors to see the line. Same thing if I'm a left-handed cutter, I need to go this way around so I can see my line all the way around. If I go this way, I'm kind of looking over the scissors and it's just kind of awkward. So Abigail, go ahead and take your scissors. Now she knows how to cut, obviously, so she's gonna just do the whole circle. But if she was a new cutter, again, I'd wanna make sure that elbow stayed down and I wanna make sure this hand turned the paper. And a lot of times you'll need to actually help your child by kind of helping them guide their hand. Stop a minute, Abigail, let's, let's move your hand down here now. Helping them learn how to position their hand to turn the paper. Yeah. Again, you want to just encourage um, as much independence as you can get, and um, if it's not a perfect circle when it's done, that's okay. Abigail, we're going to go ahead and glue this now on. So she's going to glue it on. It'll look cute no matter where it is, so again, just let them put the glue on and put it wherever they want to. can draw a mouth. And then we glue the eyes on. If you don't have wiggly eyes, you can always use buttons or you can cut them out of construction paper or even just give your child the marker and have them draw the eyes on. So lots of options depending on what materials you have at home. Sometimes liquid glue is better for wiggly eyes. <laughs> and there we have it. A very cute cow. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun making that cow craft with your child. And I'll see you next week. Bye.